Hey guys and welcome back to my channel so this 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 uh, so new year's is coming up which is one of my favorite makeup seasons i do love christmas but i have to say new year's with the glitter and the glam and just everything it's just so good so i thought i didn't do a new year's look last year because i was away and i didn't have time to pre-film it for you guys i know naughty me but i did do a look i think it was the previous year it was like an arabic kind of like I and I really loved how that turned out but I want to do like a twist on that look so I'm going to like do a glitter liner instead in my head it has like it looks good so hopefully it pans out okay but that's kind of my gist for this look today I didn't want anything too intense or over the top or too hard I mean I say it's not too hard hopefully it isn't too hard for you guys but yeah, I just want to show you like step by step how I would tackle this look that I've got in mind. I thought it would be different from like what I've seen on YouTube like going around. I usually just see like the glitter club crease and I was like, oh, I want to do something different to that. But yeah, so without further ado, let's get to it. So I've already done the base and everything like that. I will link down below that eye makeup tutorial or like that full face tutorial I was talking. talking. I was talking about uh, with the Arabic like New Year's dramatic eye look or dramatic look in general because I do do a full face and I do do a base so you can look at, at that one if you would like but otherwise I will also have my foundation routine linked down below if you'd like to check it out anywho so I've just primed my lids with my MAC soft ochre paint pot you guys can do the same or you can just leave them blank and bare it's up to you I just like to use a base because it helps the makeup last a lot longer and also creates like a neutralized base for the eyeshadow so they stand out better. So for the whole lid area, I'm going to go into Shimmer Shimmer, which is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow. And I'm just applying this all over my eyelid. It's a gorgeous champagne-y, what would you call it? Like a champagne-y peachy pink shade? I, wouldn't, I don't know. It's very gorgeous, very stunning. Like I feel like for all skin tones. And it's nice and like shimmery too so it totally ties in with the new year's theme and i'm just applying that all over my lid with a 232 luxe classic shader brush and i'm just kind of creating like a crease it's very soft i don't want it to be like a cut crease because we're doing that like dramatic liner so i'm just kind of plopping it on all over the lid this is probably the most simplest step of the whole look <laughs> and that so far is the eyeshadow done so I've got my Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner. I just find this so, like, so handy. The tip is just so fine, so I can get a nice sharp wing. I'm just going to do, like, quite a dramatic wing on the angle up to my brow. Because uh, I want to bring it back across that cut crease. So I'm just going to kind of make it quite dramatic. Of course you can do the old tape trick and have a like piece of sticky tape just stuck on the angle where you want your wing to go and you can use that as a guide and it basically is foolproof but I think I was trying to be too extra today I should have just done the tape would have made my life so much easier they're not even are they <laughs> That'll do. I'm not too fast because again we're just going to put glitter over the top anyway so it's kind of like okay. Alright so next I'm going to bring like the Arabic eye like through the crease so we're going to bring it back on itself along the crease area but to do this I'm going to first do it with shadows. I think it's a safer option than just trying to go straight in wham bam turkey and ham with the actual eyeliner um, and then it gives a bit of depth for the glitter as well so it's not just like Stark glitter is actually kind of like a bit of depth to the eye, if that makes sense. So I'm going to grab my Faux Couleur Perth Travel Palette 
and dipping into the shade Beaches, which is like kind of like a, a warm brown. It's a soft brown though. I'm going to take that through the crease with a precise shader brush from Zawaver. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm just going back across the lid and I'm making sure to hold it on an upward angle because I don't want it to dip down. I'd rather the shadow just blend upwards than dip down into the crease. And I bring it about two thirds of the way across. And then just buffing it out up towards the brow bone with a clean pencil brush. Next I'm going to take both Coral and Mount Eliza. And on the same precise shader brush I'm just going to further deepen that crease. I'm going to coming in from that upward angle and blending it out with beaches. I want to have my eye open as I kind of draw it on just to see where my natural crease falls. I'm blending it out um, toward the brow bone again. So now I've got a bit of definition through the crease a little bit. I'm going to start this glitter party off with my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in the shade Topaz Twinkle. And I'm just going to follow that line that we've created along the cut crease. And just starting off some glitter onto that black wing liner. Because we're going to apply some glitter onto it afterwards. So I thought I'd just apply a little bit of this as like a base. You know what I might even do is have it black on the inner corner and just taper it into that glitter cut crease. So I don't want anything too intense because I do want this to still be quite wearable. I mean I'm saying that and then I'm going to add this like awesome chunky kind of glitter. This is I think nail art glitter so just be careful not to apply it too close to your eyes. I'm going to apply some lash glue along the glitter liner that we've just placed down and place these little chunky glitters over the top. Just like that. I actually think I want to taper the glitter just into that glitter liner that we have. So it's not going to be glitter all the way through the crease. It's just kind of like tapered in on the outer corner. Oh, I'm so happy with how it's turned out. Oh, it looks so cool. So I think I got this glitter off of Etsy. Ooh, ooh that was glitter went everywhere. So I think I got this glitter off Etsy. I can't 100% remember. If I can find it, I'll leave it linked down below. But yeah, you can just literally look for nail glitter art on like eBay or something. That's where I got it from. Maybe as well. Maybe it was eBay, not Etsy. Either one. I just got it off at, like online so you can find lots of different glitters and eye safe glitters as well online which is probably your best bet but I mean go at your own risk I did let's choose lashes shall we so I want to do something a dramatic with this look so I'm thinking shall I do my iconics oh yeah I like the iconics so guys, I'm just switching to a voiceover for this last section just because my sister came into the room and we're having a bit of a chat so I decided to do a little voiceover. So the lashes that I've gone in today with are the ones that I chose. They are the Iconics from House of Lashes. I really found they complemented this look so much. They were the perfect amount of drama. They didn't cover up too much of the glitter and the liner and that beautiful cut crease that we've created. So moving on, I'm going to next line my waterline with a nude eye coal. This one is from Models Prefer and I'm placing that along my bottom waterline. Then I'm going in from my Folklore Travel Palette and taking Coral and Mount Eliza again on that precise shader brush from Zoeva. And I'm tightly wiggling that against my bottom lash line to give it a bit of uh, definition back again just because that nude can kind of wash out that definition there. I'm going back in with some shadow to deepen it up and then buffing out that defined line with some of beaches from the same palette on a pencil brush. I'm just smoking it out. 
I basically line from outer to inner corner as you can see. Then for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm taking that gorgeous shimmery white shade from the same palette and placing that on with a pencil brush on my inner corners and the highest point of my brow bone. Just for a bit of extra something something, you know. For mascara, I'm taking the Colossal Mascara from Maybelline and placing that on my bottom lashes. And that is the eyes completed. I'm so happy with how they turned out. They're so New Year's Eve appropriate. For lips today, I'm going in with my Natural Lip Liner from Rimmel in the shade 049 Natural and basically lining my lips and filling them in. Then I'm going in with Commando from Kylie Cosmetics and basically filling in my lips with that liquid lipstick. And to make it a glossy finish, I went in with the Napoleon Purtis Lip Gloss in the shade Pink and went over top to like give a nice little glossy lip effect that was very sexy for New Year's. And that, guys, completes today's New Year's Eve makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you do recreate this look, please tag me in any social medias. I'd love to see your recreations. If you have any requests for upcoming tutorials, leave them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, have an amazing day. I love you all so much. Have a safe and happy New Year's, and I'll see you in the new year. Woohoo! I'm so excited for 2020. Love you all. Bye!